This is my second session of Subnautica. Uh, so far, I've managed to figure out how to build one thing, which I now can't find. Oh, there it is. It's, okay, yes, right below my pod. We've got this little locker here that I can use for extra storage. Uh, I've fixed up my sort of basic equipment here. I've got a repair tool. Um, I've got a knife. I've got a flashlight. I've got a scanner. Uh, what else? Was there something else I wanted? Eh, whatever. i got all the tools I need. Get out my... There we go. Flashlight. It's getting a little darker under here. Uh, so somebody just pointed out uh, in the chat, I think it was the yeah, uh, Jedi Psych Trick just pointed out that keeping fish in my pocket for a long period of time is probably making them less nutritious. I just ate uh, a handful of fish, and um, some of them were very nutritious and some were far less so. And I think that's a pretty good good theory, Jedi Psychtrix. I'm going to grab a couple of fish, cook them up, and uh, we're going to check and see if they've got like a condition that deteriorates over time. Oh, crap. Oxygen, Oxygen low. Yeah. Oh, this is why you want to craft that thing with the bladder fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, how deep am I? Oh, so my... Wow. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That I just got this machine that was not designed for me being underwater all the time, but it's still trying to help me survive. And, just, and it's like mostly designed for like leisure time. Ooh, Gary Fish. I don't know what a Gary Fish is, but, but I mean, it seems like his name's Gary and that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm looking for silver and gold. Um, I have found copper in these little limestone deposits, these little rocks that sort of hang out. So it seems like maybe silver and gold would be in a similar kind of place. I'm also trying to grab bladder fish, not only so that I can get water from them, but so that I can make an emergency flotation device, which would be a good thing to keep on my person. Um, oh, oh, looks like there's a little cave system down here. Where is my... Okay, it's not that far from my pod. Alright, so let's dive down into it. What? Oh. That looks like a dude in a gas mask. What is he? Is he spawning? Is she? Is it a she? Nope, that looks like... Like squid ink, maybe? The equivalent of squid ink? For that particular monster? I, I, I just want to avoid that at all costs. Okay, we got some copper ore. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, get away from me! Sheesh! That's enough. No, frack. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do about these guys. Yeah, they're like killing me! Okay, I mean, I'm gonna grab the resource you get from them. Then I gotta go back home and see if I can heal. I'm really kind of surprised I have not gotten myself killed yet. Getting myself killed feels like the automatic thing I'm likely to do in this scenario. Okay, I'm out of oxygen. Let's go. Okay. Oh, this seems like this is the way I need to go. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right here. I've got nothing. I got no backup plan. What? Wow. What happens if I die in this game? What happens? So far, a black screen. Okay, so did it autosave at some point? You died and lost some belongings. Okay. So, okay, so I don't lose progress. I haven't... It's almost done fabricating something. Let's grab, wait for that. Okay. So, let's just wait for this medical kit to come out because I want that. And it'll be like it'll be more efficient. The more often you grab these medical kits, the more medical kits you end up getting. So, come on. Come on. Um, do you know what 100% means? There we go. Okay, well, now we know what happens when you die. Cool. So, did I lose... 
I lost all the copper ore that I had collected. I, oh man, this stuff, it's not like this stuff is cheap. That was hard to get. So did I just, did I lose all the stuff I had recently picked up? Is that what it was? Okay, I think that cave entrance is under here somewhere. There was more stuff I didn't grab while I was down there. Let's find the entrance and then head back upstairs. All right, head back upstairs now. See, I don't even know if I'm in the same place I was in before. Like, because it's the ocean. Like, I'm just bad at telling where I am. This looks like the kind of place I was in might not be the exact same place, which means it will not have the same thing. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this does not look like it's the same place. Well, where was I before? And what is this item? Oh, another creature egg. Cool. I was carrying a bunch of those in my pants. Okay, got some metal. not entirely fruitless, but um, yeah, unfortunately when I found that place that had all of that copper ore I knew where <laughs> I, I figured out where my pod was from there, but I didn't figure out where there was from my pod uh, so that's not very helpful um, that's just smooth in there Looking forward to... Okay, so now I'm actually getting very serious about figuring out how to get the uh, the extended oxygen tank. Oh, no. Not this freaking guy. No, 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 no. Okay, he didn't hurt me that badly. For you. Can I murder you? Oh, no. You bleed something gross. Um, it's in here. Um, not oxygen. Oh gosh, get out of here. Oh. Okay, dang it! I'm just going deeper and deeper into a freaking cave. Okay, I need to. I need to get a bladder fish, and craft that thing that will let me uh, scoop to the surface really fast. Ah, uh, those little guys. I wish I could just figure out what... Go, no! Oh, quantum detonation. Well, let's, um... So is that a detonation where, like... Maybe it happens, but maybe it doesn't? Is that, is that what a quantum detonation is? So I wonder if they're going to save the detonation until I'm back at the pod. Like they're saying within two hours. I'm going to grab as many bladder fish as I can on my way back home, but definitely want to go back home, see if the next um, kit is ready, the next uh, medical kit is ready. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. 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 Hey, Gary. 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 Gary! All right. Sustenance. Okay, before I get the water, let's grab the personal gear, like the air bladder. All right, cool, we got an air bladder. I think that music might be telling me something about uh, how I'm about to see my ship explode. Let's cook Gary. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. <laughs> can too. All right, some titanium. Anything else I can afford to get? Oh, yeah, I wanted to... 
Oh, personal equipment. Okay, what do I need? I need glass, so I need more quartz, which was also in that tunnel that I died in, and I need some silver. Okay, so I'm looking for quartz and silver. Uh, how's my medical kit? Okay, still halfway there. Let's climb the ladder and have a look at the ship. How you doing? How you doing, ship? Aw, I'm sad. I thought it was just going to blow up as soon as I looked at it. <laughs> oh, well. Let's, um, let's heal up. Have a little bit of water. Eat Gary. I need to grab a few more food ship. Oh, uh, a few fish. Oh, I just realized I forgot to check to see if Gary had, like, a condition rating. Uh, so I'll have to do that next time. Oh, oh, oh. First thing. Let's put that air bladder in a quick slot. So if I start drowning and I'm way too deep, I can use that to get quickly to the surface. Was this maybe the place where I was? Okay, this looks like it's got some tunnels. Ooh, ooh, that might that might be my tunnel right there. Oh, there's the stuff I dropped! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Hey, come here. Come here! I like how much like their icons these little objects look. I mean, they're identical, basically. Okay. Oxygen's already at half. I'm gonna scoop back up again, and I'm gonna go down there with ma- Oh, wait. This one I can probably just grab right here. I'm gonna go down there with maximum oxygen. <laughs> Smeg Rainbow Pony says, uh, uh, this guy that you're playing is swimming with a knife pointed at his head, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> that is a very good point. Oh, 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 hello. Quartz. Okay, quartz is good. Okay, so I don't know if I should expect to find silver in limestone outcrops like, like the copper? Or, or not. But the, nope, 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 oh gosh. Okay, so, okay, I can see some sky through there. So I think inventory full. Okay, great. Let's get out of here. See, where does this pop up? Because coming in from this side seems like a smart move. Okay, so I didn't actually lose anything. I, I thought that maybe... Oh, and there's some... Oh, there's some stuff over here, too. Okay, let's get my bearings. So, there's my pod. Where's the ship? Okay, so towards the ship, a little bit to the right, is where I want to go. To end up in that spot. Oh! Somebody's printing something out, which I think means a member of my family is going to be entering this room at some point. So I'm going to be ready with the um, hide-my-face thing here, because they didn't sign up to be on my stream. Okay, so do I actually have any room in my storage here, or do I need to go down to my uh, my locker? Yep, no room, because I insist on keeping all of these stupid things. Okay, well, let's, uh, I might be able to, you know what? I can craft some stuff, first off. I can craft some glass. All right, and then, oh, you can come on in if you need. Somebody's trying to come in here. Dad, I just unlocked the door. Oh, you just unlocked the door? Yeah. Oh, did you figure out how to unlock the door from the outside? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy, buddy. Okay, you go you go upstairs and do some other stuff. We're going to wrap up here soon. <laughs> okay, it was just my son. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Uh, I was making stuff. That's right. Oh, copper wire out of copper ore. For some reason, I've decided I want two of those. I don't I don't know. I think I'm just trying to condense my stuff down. Okay, so this still needs silver ore, though. Uh, is there anything else? This floating air pump... I don't know, if I have a long job to do somewhere, then maybe that makes sense. But right now, it just feels like I go all over the place, and there wouldn't be much value 
to that. Let's cook a boomerang. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, my inventory is a little bit more emptied out now. Okay, so this is food 21 and water 3. Let's save it for a bit and see if it gets any worse. So remember, that's 21 and 3. In the meantime, let's eat this nutrient block, which will overfill me. Um, and let's grab a medical kit on our way out the door. Okay, so let's drop a few more things off at my locker, which I've left underwater. So keep the medical kit, but maybe some of the other stuff that I don't need right now, like some glass and some titanium can just sort of go under here. Um, I don't even remember if the coral tube sample was necessary. Oh, that's the all the room I have. Well, that's what I'll use then. Okay, so let's get our bearings. We're right near the pod and the ship is there. Okay, so a little to the right from the ship. That's where I was operating before. Oh yeah, there's that long tube, okay. So the other end of the tube had more stuff that I hadn't gotten yet. Again, I'm not sure if it's even likely that I'm gonna get uh, if I'm gonna get any uh, any silver from doing the same thing I've been doing to get copper. Like, it's entirely possible that silver is just found in a completely different way. Same with gold. Either a different way or maybe a different place. Like, maybe it's a similar mining process, but I just have to be in a different location. Um, I wanted to grab this quartz, though. It seems like glass might be useful in multiple different contexts. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, I managed to not get hit by the explosion. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna grab more sulfur just because I can. I love that this cave sulfur is basically, it's basically poop. Um, oh, and that's it. My uh, inventory is already full. Oh yeah, I picked up all that metal. That's right, that's why it filled up so fast. Wait, how do I get out of here? Like this. Okay. We'll bring this stuff back, but then, yeah, I think I can't make much progress until, I mean, I guess I can make another locker, but until I figure out how to get silver and gold, I'm not going to make much progress. I think that's the next stuff I need to craft, I think, was requiring silver and gold, unless, wait, let me look at the habitation. Maybe, maybe I can start building my habitation. Um, oh, so... One thing I was considering doing was... Oh, I need the fabricator to make another locker. That's right. I can't just make it downstairs. I've got to make it up here. Oh, wait, no, there was a tool. There was a tool for building habitations. Let's, let's, let's just look at what we got here. So, first, resources. Let's build some titanium. Which I think doesn't empty my inventory at all because I get four titanium out of a thing that takes four slots. But glass does condense quartz, so that'll make some room in my inventory. I'm just incapable of just leaving things on the ground, though. Okay, so tools. Habitat builder. Right, that's why I was going, I needed the wiring kit, that needs, needs silver, the computer chip, needed gold, that's what I was after. That's the thing I'm trying to drive towards. So, <laughs> it's hard to remember stuff like that sometimes. And then this guy also needed some silver, so I need to figure out where to get silver and gold. Let me look at my little guide here and see if it'll tell me anything. Um, okay, so it says... Does this scroll to the right at all? It doesn't, huh? Okay, so it says basic materials, but it doesn't list gold under the basic materials. <laughs> There's no information that I can find about how gold works. Life pod, what? Map, log. Geological data. Okay, so that limestone is only a titanium and copper source. 
advanced theories. Alien eggs. I don't even want to get started with that. Okay, so let's... Can I fabricate... Was it... De oh, deployables. Sea glide ingredients unknown. Okay, let's make another locker. In fact, let's make another two lockers. Just to try to empty out my inventory. And then I think I need to go exploring someplace a little bit new. If I'm going to try to figure out what where silver and gold come from. So let's go down here. Deploy a couple of lockers. Can I just deploy them from my inventory? Or do I need to quick slot them first? I think I might need to quick slot them. I don't know if dropping them counts as deploying them. No, that's not what I meant to... Gah. All right, try this again. Okay, open storage. Okay, I don't know how I got that wrong, but... Okay, so let's fill this one with glass and titanium and just basic stuff. Wait, am I... Okay, I was... I thought I, I heard noises. Like maybe I was... Ooh, that's a pretty planet in the sky. Like maybe I was drowning, but no, that was not the case. And then... Okay, so that one... Okay, so I need to have some themes here. So let's take back the titanium and glass from this one. Let's fill this one with weird sea life. So, weird sea life. Okay, food and water are down. It's an old cooked boomerang. So yeah, you were right, Jedi Psychtrix. My uh, food does deteriorate over time. Right, and then this storage here. Okay, yeah, so I will stick basic stuff in here. Maybe I'll get this copper wiring out. And just put more basic things in this place. Emergency. Wait. A quantum detonation has occurred ah! in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh no! Oh no! What's this gonna be? I mean, maybe I shouldn't be standing here, but I wouldn't miss this. So, wow! <laughs> nice. Oh! Ah, okay. Okay. Radiation suit, huh? Um, fiber mesh and lead? How am I gonna... What? I don't know where either of those things are from. Okay, well, hopefully... Hopefully I'm not just gonna get a massive dose of radiation every time I go outside. Hopefully they're talking about, like, if I get close to the ship, I'll need that. Um, because... <laughs> I mean, in real life, I'm pretty sure that if that ship is radioactive, I'm probably not very safe over here. <laughs> but... <laughs> at least from a radioactive explosion... Okay. Well, there went my ship. Um, let's see. Okay, so oh, this was the one I put the weird sea life in. Okay, this is the one I put the basic stuff in. And open storage. This is the one I put nothing in yet. So let's stick the sulfur, the like chemical stuff in there. The rest of this stuff all seems pretty basic. Um, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't think I need a fire extinguisher on my person all the time. Let's definitely eat that boomerang uh, and drink some filtered water. Okay, got to be on the lookout for more food while I'm down here. Oh, and my survival knife. Okay, so. I don't know how long this, this flashlight is going to last and if I can just recharge it or... Or if I'm actually going to have to just build a new one at some point. Which means I need to keep my eye out for more copper, because I actually kind of wasted a bunch of my copper on wiring I didn't need. Um, so, yeah, I guess... So I need to start exploring and figure out where I can get silver and gold, which means 
Oh wait, let's figure out what direction I'm moving first. So we still have, okay, we've got the planet in the background in one direction. We've got the husk, the ship. So far the ship has been a really good indicator of where I've been. So I've gone in the direction of the ship a short ways. I've gone in the opposite direction. I think that's where I found the, um, uh, the seaweed. I haven't gone this way. So let's just, um, you know, one of my nightmares is, of course, uh, being in an alien ocean and um, surrounded by creatures that are better at swimming than me. So I don't know why I think this is a good plan, but let's try to go kind of to the left relative to, uh, you know, being on my pod and facing the ship. Maybe that will... Ah, oh, yummy! Maybe that will get me towards some silver and gold. So that's just going to give me copper. Those limestone things are always going to be... What is this? What is that? It's weird. It's weird is what it is. 30 seconds. Right. Uh, this place is a little deeper. But good, the sun's coming up at least. Okay, I really want the... The main reason I want this silver and gold is so that I can... Uh, get the better oxygen tank. I think that's one of the things I can get once I figure out how to do it. By the way, if any of you have any suggestions, I am happy to find out about them. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of swim in a direction and see if something changes. So I've mined those giant tubes before. It gave me a resource that I'm not sure what to do with yet. Cut creep vine with knife? What? Okay. I can synthesize something from that. That's neat. Oh, there's the thing. There's a floaty thing. Let's uh, go figure out what that floaty thing's about. Oh, some little nodules. What are you? Huh. Okay. They're called floaters, I guess. Hi, I would like to eat all of you. Can I, can I eat you? Can I eat you? Oh, come on. Let me eat you at least. All right. We got, is this quartz? Yep. I don't need a ton more quartz right now, but I'm certainly going to grab all of it. Egg. Okay. Uh, I should make sure I've got an exit here. I always think I'm close to the surface, and then I, <laughs> then I get out of whatever chasm I'm in, and the surface is still super far away. All right, I'm just going to... Oh, there's some kind of little radio icon on my screen. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, wait, another creature egg. I don't know why I'm collecting these. And I assume these floaters are just really, really valuable. So I'm just going to grab lots and lots of them and, you know, not worry about my inventory space at all. Oh, inventory full. Which means that I probably won't be able to get this copper. Okay, let's look at my inventory space. Oh, oh, this stuff takes a lot of room. Hmm. You know what? Let's just drink some water to make a little bit more space, and let's grab whatever's in here. Probably copper. Oh, titanium. Okay, let's head back to base to figure out what all this stuff is for. Ooh, ooh, got, oh, oh, right, my inventory's full. I can't catch fish. All right, let's figure out what all this stuff is for. None of it is silver or gold. Okay, so Smug Rainbow Pony does say, say that you can um, you can replace the batteries of things. So I don't have to craft the entire thing from scratch. I can just craft a battery for it, and that'll be enough. So glad I grabbed some copper while I was out. That will be useful. Oh, Smug Rainbow Pony says the floaters are pointless. <laughs> so I've filled my inventory with a completely pointless thing. Cool. Well, I'll just dump a bunch of them all over the ground then later. <laughs> Okay, so uh, 
David Timroth says, I need to be scanning everything. That's a really good point. I, I almost forgot I had a scanner. So yeah, next time I go out, I'll try to scan more stuff. I'll get my scanner out, see what I haven't scanned yet. We'll just do a bunch of scanning. So, I can cook a bladder fish. I can, oh, I can cook a bladder fish? Gross. Okay, but it's better to get water out of the bladder fish. So we'll do that. We'll cook the boomerang. And then make some titanium. Ooh, I can make fiber mesh out of the creep vines. Oh, it takes a lot of room in my inventory for making something that I assume is small. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. And then personal tools. Pathfinder tool, copper wire, creep vine seed cluster. Oh, I can map away out of caves and stuff. I, oh, I can make myself a little path. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I've got copper wire, and I think I might even have seed clusters. And now that I've got fiber mesh, I can make my own first aid kits. Let's make a locker so I can keep more of this stuff in it. Um, speaking of first aid kits. Okay, so I don't remember if I still had any seed pods or if I've used them all. Certainly none in here. Um, I don't have enough... I don't remember if this is enough copper to make a battery. Let's grab some of this to see. I should have a backup battery. Um... I can just drop all these floaters if you folks say they're not worth anything. Okay, the battery needs... Oh, two acid mushrooms. Oh, okay, well, good. I, I don't want... I want to get rid of these stupid acid mushrooms that I've been keeping for so long. All right. Fabricator. Electronics. How do I... Dang it. Like this. Battery. Okay, so I'll just keep a spare battery for my flashlight on my person. And now we need to go out there and see, do I have any seed pods in these lockers? If not, I need to go get some. So I can try out this new tool. Um, no seed pods in there. Yeah, you know what? I don't think there are any. So I'll need to go get some. So let's deploy this baby. Put some more crap in there. I got some, eh, well, actually, actually, you know what, let's, let's have a special locker just for, just for eggs. Oh, this one's got some room in it already, I forgot about that. Is this the one that had eggs in it? Yes. So, let's grab these eggs. I'll put a couple little floaters in there in case I decide I need them at some point. But then my newest locker is going to be my egg locker. Let's just put the eggs inside. And now, oh, now I'm going to breathe is what I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to drop a whole bunch of floaters here if I can drop them. Let's see if I'm, am I allowed to drop stuff? Drop, 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 drop. Oh, wait, what hurt me? Okay, so they just float up here. Uh, they're just they're just having fun. Look at these little guys. That's great. Um, so Renneth Cord wants to know: uh, Did I at some point say that uh, an artist on SOD uh, on State of Decay really likes tentacles, or am I misremembering? Uh, so yeah, so um, uh, Doug Williams, uh, the art, the sort of overall art director for the franchise, uh, one of the people who came up with State of Decay, um, does he? He really loves to draw kind of super creepy Cthulhu-esque monsters and things like that, or, or you know, things made out of meat or whatever. So tentacles are in that category. It, it, it's, but it's not tentacles specifically. It's that entire type of sort of disturbing pseudo-natural monstrosities that, that, he's, that he's into. Now let's um, make sure that I've got all the stuff I want. So I want light, floaty, knife, Scanner, flare. 
Okay, and then, speaking of which, somebody reminded me I needed to be scanning things. So, let's find some crap I can scan. I think, I think I've already scanned the boomerang. Oh, right, I'm out here for seed pods, so that means I need to head some direction? Where's my... Where's my pod? Where's my pod? There it is. Okay, so... If that's my pod, and that's the ship, that means I think the seed pods were this way. I think. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, so Smug Rainbow Pony says that the eggs are fun to keep. Uh, they don't really become useful uh, until later in my playthrough. So yeah, so I think I'll, I'll probably just, when I find eggs, I'll pick them up, I'll try to hold on to them, and then maybe sometime later I'll find out what they're for. Okay, I see some seed pods down there. I've already forgotten what I'm getting them for, um, but, oh yeah, it was some kind of pathfinding tool, that's right. There's a whole bunch of them down here, alright, so, I'm gonna breathe real quick before I go down there, holy crap, I get so deep under the water, okay, it's weird how it feels like you're not going that far when you go down, but it absolutely feels like it's far when you're going up. Part of it is probably because you've got all these um, features to help help you navigate when you're when you're down here, uh, but when you're, you're just aiming upwards, you can't really feel your own progress. Okay. Oh wow. So I what? Okay. So I got a bunch of those. They took a, a bunch of space in my inventory. Let's get some air again, real quick. Then what else can I scan? So I haven't really tried to explore caves and things in this area. Is it is that limestone? Is that gonna just be more copper? Ooh, sandstone. <gasps> Lead! Okay, that's for the radiation suit. Cool. Let's scan these guys. Drooping stinger, that seems bad for me. avoid. Okay, so they're just a hazard. I don't want to deal with them. Oh, another creature egg. Cool. Let's get upstairs. 30 seconds. I know, I know. Thanks for helping. So, uh, <laughs> when I couldn't find my pod, Randall Court was like, dude, where's my pod? Um, that they should do a sequel to Dude, Where's My Car? That is just Dude, Where's My Pod? And they're lo lost on an alien ocean. So, <laughs> Smug Rainbow Pony says, Oh, you think 50 meters is deep? Sweet child. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, this feels deep to me because it takes forever for me to get up there. Now, once I've got, you know, an oxygen tank that can last longer and maybe the ability to build an undersea base and stuff like that, uh... Maybe I'll feel differently about uh, depth. Hoverfish, huh? Oh, gosh! Oh, oh. Um. That was sad. Can I grab this? Yes. Okay, got a hoverfish. Oh, takes so long. Yeah, so if you're not surfacing all the time, uh, depth just feels different. When you do have to surface all the... What the? What the? Oh, it's just the... Okay, it's just the plants. I was like, what is this shadow? <laughs> what is stalking me? Oh, look, it's my shadow. Oh, I'm adorable. Okay. You know what? My water is getting low. I should grab some bladder fish while I'm here. Bladder... Bladder fish! Bladder fish! Bladder, bladder fish! It seems like just maybe just increasing the grab distance would make bladderfish a more accessible, like, like chasing fish, a more accessible part of the game than it currently is. Okay, I'm gonna breathe again real quick. Okay, so I've gotten out of the green biome. So let's head back to it because that sandstone produced lead. Um, but I do, I am aware that 
the limestone produced not just copper, but copper and titanium. So the, the brain coral produces these bubbles. It makes me feel like maybe there's some way I can take advantage of them to, like, breathe underwater? But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if those bubbles are oxygen or what, so... Uh, oh, wait, no! Yeah, my oxygen is fuller than it should be. Maybe it filled... I didn't. I wasn't actually watching the gauge. Maybe it did fill up a little bit. Oh my gosh, get away from me, you little monster. No. No. Bad monster. Guess we'll scan the sulfur plant while we're down here. And there's Walrus Man. Cuckoo Kachu. Okay, okay. Head it up. Okay, so Smoke Rainbow Pony says my radio is blinking. Um, I don't know what that means. Does that mean I need to go back to the pod and answer a radio call of some kind? How's my inventory looking? I got three more spots. Let me just... Okay, let's figure out what direction my pod is. Probably not going to find any more rocks, any more pretty rocks. Oh, but I want to. Wait, what is that? What's that green thing? Is that another alien egg? Oh. Inventory full. What? Oh, that's a huge alien egg. That's why. Okay. Right, I'm gonna keep okay there okay, there's okay, my oxygen is getting low. There's a brain coral. Let's see what happens if I hang out near that brain coral. My oxygen is at 39. Oh, oh yeah, I'm recharging. Oh sweet. No, 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 no. Dang it. Does that ever get better? Like, is that ever not just terrible? Is this just quartz? Yeah, this is more quartz, I don't want quartz. I feel like I deserve the cave sulfur. Like, after I deal with a monster like that, Oh, no. Stop it. Whenever I deal with that monster, I just feel like I need a prize. I deserve a prize. And so I have to pick up every piece of cave sulfur I find. I am starting to, like, ignore the resources I don't want right now. Uh, because they are filling up my inventory. So it's, you know... That's kind of what one th one reason why inventory limits exist. It's just so that you don't vacuum up every single thing. So you have to, like, make interesting decisions about it. Um... I don't know why I decided to do that. It just looked neat. Alright, let's get back there and see if there's something going on with my radio. Oh, hey there, uh, Real Trouble. Thanks for coming back. Veined Nettle. Blue Palm. Okay, I've got a bunch of things to read now. I'm gonna use those things. Let's see, anything I wanna store? Oh wait, I can't store anything in there right now anyway. It's full. Where? There we go. Oh wait, I'm almost out of oxygen. Let's just go inside. I'll worry about my storage later. Okay, radio. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, okay. Now, first off, is there a map? <laughs> okay, there's a signal. So I can track down a sea glide. Is that a, uh, a vehicle that I can use? Well, that'll be interesting. It's probably something I'll do next session because I need to quit soon in order to have breakfast. But let's make ourselves some food and things. Let's cook. Ooh, cooked hoverfish. Let's eat this stuff fresh too so that uh, it doesn't... 
so that it doesn't lose any of its uh, sustenance. Okay, yeah, so if I can figure out salt, I can. I guess these things will keep for longer. So I don't need that. Tools. Okay, so still need a computer chip and wiring kit. What was it that I was going to make with... Oh, the Pathfinder tool. That's right. Okay, I need copper wire. Copper wire is outside. So let's... I th at least I think it's outside. Let's let's check. Yeah, I don't... I have not left any copper wire inside. So let's... Uh, oh, first off, let's definitely eat our buddies here. And have some water. Okay, we're going to need to catch some more bladder fish. Uh... Right. Okay, so I, I, I need to put away that alien egg in my alien egg box. Which was... Was it the last one I placed? Yep, so that goes in there. And now I need to figure out where I put the copper wire. Not there. Oh, there we go. Grab the copper wire. I think I just need the one. You know what, I'll grab this too, because that probably belongs on board the pod. And then, oh, I can name the locker? Hold up. I saw, there we go, oh, nice. Okay, so how do I, okay, cool. So I'll call it basic. Nice! So now I know I keep my basic resources in here. Oxygen. And... I can do that with all the other lockers later. For right now, I would like to fabricate something. Oh, wait, what was I fabricating? That's right, the Pathfinder tool. Okay. So... Now, the things that... Okay, oh, oh, let me, let me stick the... Uh, I'm going to keep the fire extinguisher in here because I just can't imagine needing it anywhere else right now. Um, I want to keep the repair tool. I might need that. Um, these seed clusters, not very useful. Um, I wonder if there's something I can... craft them into. What, what are they for? Oh, silicone rubber... Or lubricant. Okay, let's let's make some lubricant. I don't know what it's for yet. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. All right. Okay, cool. So that's much more efficient. Um, yeah. All right. So let's scoot down here see if okay so what do I keep in here again uh, titanium and glass I could really just build a ton of these so this one was eggs right I'm pretty sure this was eggs eggs that was eggs that's right and this one Ah, this one's sulfur, mostly. It's also got some copper wire in there. Why don't I just take that out to make it less confusing? Um, actually, you know, I'll just stick some more materials in there. Actually, yeah, let's just stick a bunch of crap in there. I don't know. This is just random crap. That's what goes in here. All right. So what kind of... It's 922. This session is about as has been about as long as the previous one. And I've actually, this is actually a pretty good time to stop because I've got some pretty clear goals. Um, number one, silver and gold. I feel like I was making, like when I found that I could get lead from the area with the creeper vines, uh, it makes me think that there might be more in that direction. So I can go there to try to figure out if silver and gold are available in that direction. The other thing was, what? Hold on. I saw there, that direction. Okay, how come I couldn't see that underwater? Hold on, okay, let's, first off, let's, let's get ourselves queued up with all the right equipment. So, uh, 
is there something was it the oh the Pathfinder tool or or the flashlight? Let's try out the Pathfinder tool. So I'll cue that one up. Okay, the shallows that direction. Let's see. Okay, so I can see it while I'm out here. All right, so that's where I want to go next. Okay, so. I've got a couple of goals for my next session. I want to figure out what's over this direction. I also want to find out how I can get silver and gold. It could be that silver and gold is that direction. It looks like it's pretty far away. Um, so maybe that's where I'll go next. So let's try to remember that. Uh, I'll play a little bit more of this maybe tomorrow morning, and we'll see where we get. In the meantime, let's save our game and get out of here. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning. This has been a lot of fun for me. And um, it's, it's kind of cool to take a game that, you know, that I understood very little about that. I, I played it a long time ago uh, when it was in early access. Um, had a couple of bad things happen to me that made the game uh, a lot harder to uh, to play and understand. But, um, you know, I'm playing it again, you know, years later. Uh, there's so much more to it, and it's actually a lot easier to understand and get into. Um, it's kind of really similar to the experience I've been having with, with No Man's Sky, where, you know, when it first started out, there wasn't a lot to it, and now there's so much more. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into the base building side of this once I've got the right equipment for it, um, and I'm hoping that maybe I can, you know, whatever a sea glide is, it's something that can help me explore even further. So, anyway. Um, ah. Ah. My fingers are too dry. I can't make the snapping sound. Whatever. That's supposed to make a, uh, a, a subscribe button appear and some other videos and stuff like that. So there you go.